Hi, I'm Janice and I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, we're going to be doing something that is a little bit different. We're going to be exploring a neighborhood that is actually very close to my heart. Now, this neighborhood isn't as popular as some of the other uh, neighborhoods in Sydney, such as, you know, Newtown or Surrey Hills or even Sydney CBD. But today, we're going to be exploring Eastwood. We're going to be checking out all the things that are here on offer. But first, very importantly, I need to grab cash because a lot of the restaurants and cafes here, they don't take card. Well, not a lot, some of them, but um, that's what we're going to be doing right now. Okay, I've got my cash. Now, the interesting thing about Eastwood is that it has a Korean side and also a Chinese side. And right now we're on the Chinese side. So you see a lot of Chinese restaurants, Chinese grocery stores, um, Chinese bread shops, which is exactly where I'm gonna go right now to get um, my first meal of the day. I am gonna head over to Bread Top to grab maybe a pineapple bun, maybe a sausage bun, maybe both, I don't know. We'll see what inspires us when we get in. Okay, there is so much variety of different breads on offer. I think I'm gonna go for the sausage bun. That is my go-to. I've always had it as a kid and I just have like a lot of memories attached to it. So that's what I'm gonna get today. Thank you very much. All right, so for my first meal today, I have a sausage bun. It is literally just a sausage inside bread. This is $3 and usually um, when I get it in Hong Kong, they're typically seven Hong Kong dollars, which is equivalent to about 1.5. One and a half dollars, so this is kind of double the price, but you know what? It's still good. Delicious. Okay, I like completely demolished that in like three minutes. Um, anyway, let me show you a go-to place that I get my coffee. It used to be called Cafe Centro, but now it's called a different name. I think their coffees are really, really good. So let's go and head on over there and just let's just get a small coffee because I've made the habit of not drinking as much coffee now. But for today's video, I'll make an exception and um, let's go get a coffee. I always feel so bad when I cross this street because there's no traffic lights and there are so many cars and there are so many people and it's like especially during like peak hour these cars don't even have a chance of like crossing that crossing that crossing does that even make sense that's why I try to cross in a group and sometimes I hesitate and then the cars hesitate and I cause even more congestion anyway We got there in the end. We are currently at Eastwood Oval, which is right behind us. And behind the Eastwood Oval is the, the train line, which separates the Chinese side, which is where we're at right now, and the Cur sorry, and the Korean side. The Eastwood Oval is quite busy at night because there are games on. So like, I think soccer and rugby and touch footy. But during the day, it's actually quite quiet. If you can see, like, there's not a lot of people here. People that are here probably doing Tai Chi or you see kids running around or just people just chilling or having their lunch. I rarely come to the Eastwood Oval. Usually when I do come to Eastwood, I go straight to like the, the restaurant that I'm, I'm heading to. Um, but you know what? It is a pretty nice place to chill at and I probably have to kill some time today because I'm meeting my friend for dinner here for this, for this video. But yeah, this, this, this is a pretty cool spot if you like exercise or you like trees or... You know what, I, I'm just gonna walk away because I don't know how to end this segment. All right, bye! Before I forget... The coffee is really good. 
Eastwood is a great place to get Asian groceries, whether it be, you know, on the Chinese side or the Korean side. And as a result, Eastwood is actually really popular with a lot of Asian aunties, <laughs> which means that one of the most stressful things about coming to Eastwood is actually driving in and trying to find a park. And as a result, because of that, I never drive to Eastwood because I just can't handle the stress. I take a train in, it's just so much easier, so much simpler. But it does mean that if I buy a lot of stuff, I have to carry a lot, which is okay. While we're still on the Chinese side, let's explore the rest of what this place has to offer. And then we'll head on over, we'll cross the train tracks and get onto the Korean side. This entire strip in Eastwood is just different restaurants, different like dessert places, and you can find a lot of really, really good food here. The, the place that I'm going to, it's further down the end, um, but we will pass by like, see barbecue pork, um, Taiwanese noodles, like the range is extensive and they're all pretty good as well. Alright, I've just arrived at Tan Viet in Eastwood. This is one of my favorite places to get Vietnamese food when in the area. Um, they do really good crispy skin chicken rice and also pho. I got myself a beef and beef for pho because I've been editing my videos for so long and I'm just craving it right now. Usually it is a lot more crowded, but I didn't come during like peak lunchtime hour, which is why it's a little bit better right now. Okay, my beef pho has just arrived. I cannot wait to dig in. It smells so incredibly good. So uh, I'm just gonna dig in right now and I'll see you in 10 minutes. There are three bubble tea places right next to each other. Look. So like I said, there are heaps and heaps of different types of, I guess, grocery shops. Like there is there's a fish store right here and then there is uh, another store that sells meats. And you can also find like um, Asian vegetables. I don't know if that is the right term for it, but things like Gai Lan and like Tong Ho and like, uh, but you know what I mean. Like you can get like very Chinese type vegetables here. I think that's the right term. I don't even know how to refer to it sometimes, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. And that is why I never drive to Eastwood. I've said it so many times. I keep repeating myself. It's so boring, hey? But yeah, like, look, look at this. It's completely filled and it's not like peak hour or anything like that, but like in Eastwood, every hour is peak hour until like when it's really late at night then it's fine let's go to my asian grocery and check out like the the chinese hong kong snacks and chips etc etc so whenever i'm in eastwood i usually come here or another place called tongyong to get like my asian groceries or like my asian snacks there's like a huge variety like look there is like your good old lemon tea. And there's another one that I really, really love. It's like a, it's like a, a it's like a lemon type tea as well. I don't think they have it here, surprisingly. Ah, uh, and of course you can't forget these chips are so spicy. I mean like, but then you gotta take what I say with a grain of salt because I can't take spice at all. So it probably isn't as spicy as I say it is, but I, I always like need water after I eat those chips. Oh, and of course, of course, I love so yes, Sue, it's my favorite. Yeah, I love, love, love chips here. It's, I love the snacks here as well. There's so much variety. It makes me so happy to be here. I'm gonna have to buy something. No, I don't, I don't, I don't. I can just look 
and go. I don't have to buy something. <gasps> they have seaweed as well. Oh my gosh, it's $14. Okay, I just found something that's really, really cool and I've never seen before. They have the alley, so it's like you can make your own milk tea. That's so weird. It's it instant brewed tea powder, dragon fruit flavor. Interesting. I've never actually seen this before. Pokemon drinks? What is that? Is Charizard? Or is that Charmander? Charmander, sorry, my bad. They have Tong Yun here as well. Of course they do. I mean, why am I so surprised? I love sesame tong yuns and i also love peanut tong yuns especially when you like make it in in like a ginger soup it is so good especially in winter i'm kind of tempted to buy it as well but then i'm also hesitant to because i'm here for the whole day and i don't think that would survive being in my backpack for a whole day it's probably gonna melt and then you have like the vegetable section right behind me like the bok choy behind us there's like choy sum there's tong ho, which is like um, really good if you like put it in hot water and then add some, I think, honey to it. I might be completely making this up. <laughs> but there is a drink where you put some sort of vegetables in and then it's like quite sweet and really good for your throat. And they also sell meats right inside their shop as well, which is pretty handy. I didn't buy anything. I usually buy more snacks. But um, I've already got a bunch of snacks at home, so I don't really need to stock up right now. But I think now is time for us to head to the other side of Eastwood, the Korean side. This entire strip, like right behind me, is all lined with Korean restaurants, Korean hairdressers, Korean cafes and Korean grocery stores. I've said that so many times, but yes, they're all lined behind me. This is my absolute favorite place to get Korean banchan, which are your side dishes. Korea is one of my favorite places to get Japanese food here in Eastwood. I've made an entire video about it. If you want to check out their food, click on my video right here. And Mirak right here is my go-to for like Korean soups whenever I'm in Eastwood. And Junga Jip, not a bad place for Korean barbecue whenever you're craving it. Okay, whenever I'm in Eastwood, in addition to visiting Chinese bakeries and getting breads from there. I also like visiting Korean bakeries and getting their breads, but there are two that I really like. One is 1000 Lab. I think their breads there are really good. And there's another one called Levin. I really like their breads as well. And they also have this really nice secret garden type area at the back of their cafe. That's really nice to just hang out and and chill or do your work or whatever it may be. Um, I'm gonna see if there are any particular breads that I want and buy it if there are. <laughs> I promise to show you that little secret garden place that you can hang out and chill at. It's here. And if you are looking for like Korean groceries, this is a great place to go. Like this is like a little like a little mall within Eastwood on the Korean side where you have like restaurants, ready-made store that sells Korean snacks, Korean marinated meats, which is great for like if you want to do like Korean barbecue yourself. And then there's also a grocery store that sells Korean groceries. So yes, yeah, so I'd say 85% of the shops on this strip it are mainly Korean restaurants, shops, cafes, grocery stores. I'm pretty much all the way up the top anyway. I'm probably gonna head back down, head to Eastwood Library, do a bit of work, and I probably will see you when we have dinner. Yeah, we're gonna go to a Chinese place for dinner, one of my go-tos when I'm in this area. I'll see you uh, during dinner. Bye.
All right, hello again. It is officially nighttime. I am now heading to a restaurant to meet with my friend for dinner. We're heading to a place called Canton. It used to be called Fusion. It's a Hong Kong type restaurant. They serve a lot of like Hong Kong dishes. It's one of my go-to sort of Hong Kong restaurants when I'm in this area. And uh, yeah, I'll see you. I'll see you when I get there. two different dishes for dinner. One is a pork chop rice and another is a barbecue pork and chicken rice. I am so incredibly excited because they're both meals that come with drinks as well, which I will show you when they come. And dinner was great and I think I'm gonna end the video here if you're still watching thank you so much for watching till the end if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already turn on your notification button if you haven't already I post new videos every Tuesdays and Fridays check them out if you have time have an amazing rest of the day have an amazing weekend and I'll see you in my next video on Tuesday bye